Sai Ram students, today we shall see the first poem that is Grandma Climbs a Tree. Grandma Climbs a Tree, written by one of the greatest English writers that is Ruskin Bond. Ruskin Bond wrote the poem Grandma Climbs a Tree. Ruskin Bond, he was born in Kasoli in India and he was a great, he is a great author and he was of British descent. He was born on 19th May 1934 in Kasoli. Himachal Pradesh and after his father's demise he moved to Dehradun where he was raised by his grandmother. He at the age of 17 he wrote his first novel the name of the novel is The Room on the Roof and he was an awardee of Padma Bhushan and Padma Shri. So this poem describes Bond's ability to enjoy unusual events and actions. See the first stanza, first stanza of the poem, see. My grandmother who is the my here? Ruskin Bond. Ruskin Bond writes about his grandma. Affectionate grandma. Loving grandma. So he says in the first stanza, My grandmother was a genius. You would like to know why? Because she could climb trees spreading or high she would be up their branches in a trice and mind you when last she climbed a tree she was 62 ever since childhood she had had this gift for being happier in a tree than in a lift so how beautiful the poem is he says, my grandmother, my means Ruskin Bond. He says, his grandmother was a genius. Genius means, it's given there, genius, no. G-E-N-I-U-S. Adjective, genius means, exceptionally, intelligent extraordinary ability extra ordinary ability genius means a person of extraordinary ability high talented High mental skill, an adept, so he called his grandma a genius, she had an extraordinary ability, she had exceptional ability, she had a skill, she had Intelligence, how much? Exceptionally intelligent. She was exceptionally intelligent. Then, so what did he call his grandma? He called his grandma a genius. So everyone is curious to know why he called his grandma a genius. You would like to know why? He asks you. 
because the reason is she would climb trees she has an exceptional ability of climbing a tree she is very old but she could climb the tree what kind of tree spreading whether it is spreading or grown high tall tree or spreading she would be up be up means be up means uh, climb she would climb those trees spreading or grown high she would be their branches she would climb their branches in a trice meaning is given there very quickly she could climb a tree very quickly whether it is spreading or whether it is grown high she won't bother in a trice very quickly and mind you mind means mind you m i n d mind means remember remember or bear in mind bear in mind remember heed what should you remember when last she climbed a tree she was 62 even at the age of 62 that means age did not bar age did not prevent her so when last she climbed a tree she was 62 so she could climb a tree very quickly even at the age of 62 that was her exceptional ability that was her skill that is why ruskin bond called his grandma a genius 62 ever since childhood ever since means ever since means continuously since a specified time ever since childhood means from childhood itself she had had this gift gift means talent so she learned the habit of climbing a tree developed the habit of climbing a tree from childhood itself she had had this gift this talent this skill why for being why did she adopt this skill because uh, being happier she was happier in a tree than in a lift she didn't like didn't love lift but she liked uh, climbing a tree that is why she adopted that quality this is the first stanza i think he got so what is the summary Ruskin Bond called his grandma a genius why because she could climb a tree very quickly and she, uh, even uh, very quickly even at the age of 62 she was happier in a tree than in a lift next come to the second stanza very easy poem and though what is the age of uh, uh, um, grandma 62 cross and though as years went by go by means go by means pass as years went by as years passed she would be told she would be told by whom relatives friends family members she would be told by her family members she would be told by her friends she would be told by her neighbors neighbors would tell her she would be told by her neighbors so what did they tell that climbing trees should stop she should not climb trees they asked 
her to stop climbing a tree as she became old when one grew old when a person grew old she as a, as an old woman as a grandmother she should stop climbing a tree this is the suggestion given by the family members friends and the neighbors that is for the sake of her own health and how should she behave and that growing old should be gone about gracefully this is a suggestion given by her family members friends and relatives and that growing old old age should be spent how this is not the correct way of spending old age old age should be spent how they say should be gone about go about go about means go about means carry on carry on with the. it should be spent old age should be gone about gracefully in a graceful manner grace graceful means gracefully means graciously graciously grace means charm attractively old age should be spent happily attractively gracefully graciously then it should be spent in a polite manner it should be spent in a pleasant manner this is not the right way of spending old age then what was the uh, response of grandma she would laugh what was the reply of grandma to the uh, suggestion given by the uh, relatives or friends she would laugh she laughed and said what did she say well it's a good suggestion well i will grow how gracefully no disgracefully i will grow disgracefully disgracefully means shame disgracefully right here disgraceful means shame disgraceful means shame i would grow in a disgracefully in a way that causes shame disgracefully means in a way that causes shame to a person it causes loss of respect loss of respect then very badly i will grow very badly disgracefully means very badly i can do it better she said next line see i can do it better it means what climbing a tree i can do it better than before i can do it better and we had to agree Ruskin Bond says we had to agree there is no other way we cannot convince her she is not a position to accept our suggestion why because she had cultivated that habit and she is not ready to leave it give it up so we had to agree with her why because for means because for in all the garden in all the garden there wasn't a tree there wasn't a tree means she had climbed all the tree in the garden see the meaning of the last line for in all the garden there wasn't a tree means she hadn't been up means see the line for in all the garden there wasn't a tree she hadn't been up at one time or another means she had climbed all the tree in the garden remember that 
there is no tree no tree was left untouched by grandma what is the meaning of the two sentences there was no tree untouched by grandma no tree was left in the garden untouched by grandma that means she had climbed all the trees at one time or another correct i think you got now come to the third stanza she had not been up at one time or another having learned to climb from a loving brother when she was six but it was feared by all that one day she would have a terrible fall the outcome was different while we were in town she climbed a tree and couldn't come down the third stanza she having learned to climb from a loving brother when she was six so when she was six years old girl she learned the habit of the act of climbing a tree from her loving brother so loving brother taught her the act of climbing a tree he taught her the activity of climbing a tree so having learned to climb a climb from a loving brother when she was six but it was feared by all it was feared by all means all feared everyone had the fear family members had the fear neighbors had the fear friends had the fear what was the fear it was feared by all that what was the fear one day she would have a terrible fall so what was the fear that the family members had one day or the other she would definitely have a fall she would fall definitely she would have a terrible fall one day if she is not ready to leave the habit of climbing a tree that one day she would have a terrible fall awful fall horrible fall then what was the result the outcome was the result was outcome meaning is given there what actually happened what happened actually there the outcome was different what was the expected thing she would have a terrible fall if she didn't leave the habit of climbing a tree so what was the result different it was not same the outcome the result was different while we we means uh, ruskin bond and his family members while we were in town when they went to town when they were in town uh, grandma was alone at home where in town she climbed a tree finding nobody around her she climbed the tree a tree in the garden and the result was not the expected one what is the expected result she would have a terrible fall but the result was different what was the res uh, result she couldn't come down she could not climb down she was not able to climb down the tree she remained there anyhow she climbed the tree but she was unable to climb down this was the problem this was the result now where is grandma grandma was on the top of the tree why was she staying there she was unable to climb down she needed a helping hand to climb down correct next read the first stanza second stanza and third stanza once now come to the fourth stanza after the rescue the doctor took granny's temperature and said i strongly recommend a quiet week in bed 
We sighed with relief and tucked her up well. Poor granny, for her it was like a brief season in hell. Confined to her bedroom, while every breeze whispered of summer and dancing leaves. Fourth stanza, after the rescue. Rescue means save. She was saved. She was protected. After the rescue, she was rescued from where? From the tree. She was helped by others to climb down. After the rescue, the doctor took granny's temperature. She was taken to the hospital. Doctor took the temperature and said, what did the doctor say? What did the doctor recommend? I strongly recommend, the doctor said. I means the doctor strongly recommend. Recommend means to advise. Advise someone to do something. So the doctor advised the poet or poet's mother, father or poet's family members what? Recommend a quiet, quiet means a peaceful, quiet week in bed. A peaceful, silent week in bed means uh, the doctor advised her or grandma to take a week's bed rest. She needed bed rest. So what was the recommendation of the doctor? The doctor recommended grandma to take a week's bed rest. She needed bed rest. Two more questions, remember. So what was the result? How did the children feel? How did the family members feel? We means the family members. We means Ruskin Bond and his family members. We sighed. Sigh means yes. I G H. Sigh means breathe. In and out breathe in and out making making a long sound we sighed why it indicates sigh indicates uh, relief sigh indicates uh, satisfaction relieved from tension we sighed means we felt very happy with relief. Relief means feeling of comfort with relief and that means the children felt very happy. And what did they do? And tucked. Tuck means tie. One meaning. Tucked or two. Gather together. Tuck. Or to keep something in a place comfortably. In a peaceful manner, to keep someone or something in a place comfortably means she was made to feel comfortable in a bed. Who made? The family members. We sighed with relief and tucked her up. Well, it means the kids looked after her and wished that she would stay in the bed comfortably and she is out of danger. It's the meaning. Tucked her up well. Poor granny. 
how long should stay in bed how long she should stay on bed for a week it was a problem poor granny for her it was the life in the bed for a week is was like a brief season in hell so what is the brief season in hell here it is the life on the bed one week life on the bed was compared to a brief season in hell it was a jail for her it was a hell for her she could not tolerate she could not uh, feel happy there it was a brief season in hell what it means confined confined means restricted the bed restricted her life the bed restricted her movement the bed limited her movement the bed restricted her movement so confined restricted her life to her bedroom she could not go out of the bedroom she had a restricted life so she considered it was a hell while every breeze while living in the room every breeze breeze means gentle wind warm breeze cool wind every breeze whispered she could enjoy whisper mean to speak in a low voice whispered of summer and dancing leaves what could she enjoy she could enjoy the breeze whisper of summer and dancing leaves this is the only enjoyment she had correct i think you understood so so far the summary is ruskin bond called his grandma a genius why because she could climb a tree very quickly even at the age of 62 she was happier in a tree than in a lift all the family members and others asked her to stop climbing a tree as she was a old woman and spend the remaining years life gracefully she did not agree what did she say she would grow disgracefully and said that she could do it better and she learned the act of climbing a tree from her loving brother at the age of 6 when she was 6 years old everyone feared that she would have a terrible fall but she didn't fall one day when the family members were in town she climbed the tree and could not climb down when they returned from the city town she res- they rescued her and uh, um, took her the doctor took her temperature and advised her to take a week's bed rest she considered the one week's bed rest was a hell and the kids the family members the children felt very happy and provided her with all comforts but it was a hell for her and she could not enjoy after the week after the rest what happened that is in fifth stanza we will continue in the next period okay sairam